Even when you listen to the instructions and create a strong password for any of your online accounts, you're still not entirely safe from hackers. They always come up with new ways to crack what you think might finally be a good and secure password. For example, there's a password manager tool that has taken a look at more than 60 million passwords from data breaches. It turns out the majority of people choose passwords that aren't that unique. I love you, Ferrari, and password 1234 are some of the most popular ones, together with Star Wars. For hackers, these are really not difficult to guess. Plus, they have special tools that help them with cracking passwords. For example, one takes a list of dictionary words and then uses them to find out passwords. With this tool, you can try millions of words in a pretty short time. It's able to do some sneaky things too, such as replacing an E with three, or an A with an at sign. This tool also noticed that there were a lot of people who believed they were unique and creative with their passwords because they used a tactic we call password walking. It's when your fingers walk across the keyboard and you create a password using keys that are next to each other. For example, QWERTY or ASDFG. It may seem meaningless enough to be safe, but you're not the only one who's thought of it. And hackers know it. They can upload basically any number of different variations into some of their tools to test them out. So it's just a matter of time before they find out what your password is. Here's a big no-no, using the same password for multiple websites. Hackers love when you do that, because once they figure out one password, they can use it to access all your other accounts too. Let's say your base password is Porsche. Then you add a few numbers and symbols to the end to create a unique password for each site you use, like Porsche 3 percentage 5 ampersand for Facebook, or Porsche five dollar sign seven carat for Twitter. Most of us use the same principle at some point. The thing is that hackers are not going for your bank account or work VPN first, even though one of the main goals is to get there. They'll use their special tools to try out lots and lots of different usernames and passwords on websites that might not have the best security such as an online forum you often visit, or maybe an e-commerce site where you've had some shopping lately. All they have to do is try different variations of your base password, like Porsche 1 or Porsche 123, and sooner or later, they'll crack the code and gain access to all your accounts. And if they get lucky and guess your login info for one of those sites, they can then use that info to try and access more important sites. And we're not talking about some genius hackers here. They use simple tricks, like checking your social media profiles. If you've ever mentioned your dog's name or your kid's birth date on Facebook, for example, a hacker could use that info to guess your passwords. So Chappy123 is out. So what's the solution here? First, stop trying to come up with some unique passwords based on things in your life. Instead, use a password manager to generate strong, random passwords for all your accounts. And make sure those passwords are long and include a variety of characters, not just lowercase letters. Plus, it's much safer to create unique, random passwords for each site you use. That way, even if a hacker does manage to crack one of your passwords, they won't be able to access all your other accounts as well. And you won't have to remember all those crazy passwords yourself. The password manager will do it for you. Also, it's better to have a long password. The tools hackers use crack shorter passwords with lowercase letters way faster. If you add only one asterisk and one capital letter, it will change the processing time for, let's say, a password with eight characters from 2.4 days to 2.1 centuries. Here's another scam they use to get your password. 
Let's say you're playing a game of capture the flag, and the other team manages to break into your fort and steal your flag. They now know exactly where your fort is and how to get in. That's basically what hackers do in data breaches. They break into a company's fort, their database, and steal all the sensitive information they can find, like your passwords, credit card details, and even your social security number. Then, they sell this information to other bad guys on the dark net, who can use it to pretend to be you and steal your money or even your identity. Stay up to date on news of data breaches and change your passwords immediately if one of your accounts was affected. And if you receive an email about a data breach, don't respond to it. Instead, visit the company's website or call their official customer support number to verify the situation. Phishing is when these thieves send you fake emails that look like they're from important people or companies, like the president or your bank. They might even ask you to click on a link that takes you to a fake website that looks real, but it's actually a trap. If you fall for their tricks and give them your password or personal information, they can use it to sneak into your computer and steal more stuff. Yikes! Don't reply to strange messages or click on weird links. If you're not sure if an email is real or fake, do some detective work and contact the sender directly through their official website. And remember, never ever give away your personal information to anyone, even if they claim to be your long lost cousin or a famous celebrity. Have you ever gotten an email that says something like, reset your password now? but you don't remember asking for it. Yep, hackers once again. They send you fake emails that look like they're from a website you use, like Facebook or Amazon. They'll say something like, your account has been hacked. Reset your password now to be safe. But if you click on the link they provide, it'll take you to a fake website that looks real and hackers will be able to see any information you put in there. So, if something in your email seems weird, it's probably a scam. Check for signs of fraud, like spelling mistakes or strange designs, and always make sure to check the sender's email address to see if it matches the website they're claiming to be from. If hackers manage to get your passwords, they can cause serious issues to your reputation, finances, and other things related to your online identity. That means access to your social media accounts, email, personal identifiable information, and more. Let's play detective and spot the signs of a hacked password. First, if your password suddenly stops working, it might mean a hacker has changed it. So if you're locked out of your account for no reason, it's time to investigate. Next, if your computer starts acting slow and sluggish, it could be a sign that it's been infected with password-stealing malware. Another thing to watch out for is finding your personal information on the dark web. That's like the sketchy black market of the internet where hackers sell stolen data. If you see your info for sale there, it's time to take action. Have you ever heard of ransomware? It's a type of malware that locks you out of your own computer and demands money if you want to regain control. Yikes! In Costa Rica, hackers even attacked local authorities with this nasty stuff. Last but not least, if your friends or family start receiving strange messages from you online, it's a red flag that someone else might be using your accounts. So if your BFF gets a message from you about buying a Nigerian prince's yacht, it's probably time to change your passwords ASAP. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.